just gets better and better, maybe from where you're standing. Multiple people involved in the making of Scooby Doo have now spoken out that Velma is gay, and actually was always written to be that way, but the studio executives watered down the script to hide this fact back when it was being made. Hey what's up IOers, it's Mackenzie here and today on the channel I'm going to be giving you the latest on what we know about Velma from Scooby Doo. So Scooby Doo is a classic TV show turned movie that a lot of millennials grew up with, myself included. And now some info has been revealed by the writer and director of the movie James Gunn, as well as producer Tony Cervone, that Velma was actually gay the whole time. This all started when a fan asked Gunn to come back to the project and make Velma gay, with him responding that he already did, saying that in the initial 2002 script that he wrote, she was definitely gay, saying this was the intent in the initial movie as well as a sequel film. According to Gunn, Warner Brothers quote, just kept watering it down and watering it down, becoming ambiguous, the version shot, then nothing, the released version, and finally having a boyfriend, the sequel. Basically hinting that they slowly changed the narrative so that she was never seen as gay by the fans. Then producer Tony Cervone chimed in, in the comments of a post on his Instagram where he is showing Velma standing with a pride flag. Quote, I've said this before, but Velma in Mystery Incorporated is not bi, she's gay. We always planned on Velma acting a little off and out of character while she was dating Shaggy because that relationship was wrong for her and she had unspoken difficulty with the why. I don't think Marcy and Velma had to act on their feelings during the main timeline, but post reset, they are a couple. You cannot like it, but this was our intention. And now after this confirmation has been made, tons of fans are revisiting the movies and finding moments that now seem to be hinting at the fact that she was probably not straight. Like one with her coming out of a closet, and another where she hears grunting and automatically assumes it's Daphne. Then Pink News also added that there was a kiss between Velma and Daphne in the original movie, but it was cut from the movie to make it more family friendly, with Gunn adding, quote, like three parents were outraged at a test screening in Sacramento. So after all this, people are really happy to see that there is more representation than they originally thought in their favorite movies from their childhood. Okay everyone, that's all for this story from me today. Let me know your thoughts on all this below. Did you always have a feeling that this was the case or is this completely a shock to you? Let me know below. Personally, I didn't watch too much of the movies or TV shows so I can't really give an opinion here with what I think. But as always, before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments for my most hated MLM's video. So Cat Lady Lion said, the leggings look Niche. <laughs> That's a nice way to describe those leggings. Yeah, you know, I never want to talk badly about stuff because people, you know, have their preferences and they're allowed to like whatever they want to like, obviously, but the real ones uh, know what I'm saying. <laughs> then M.A. Bukhari said, When I was 20, I blindly went into an MLM seminar. At the time, I was rather naive, knowing pyramid schemes like this existed. It took my dad yelling at me not getting involved that I soon realized it was a money trap. Sadly, I did see one friend fall for the scheme. Honestly, dads are just always right. I was gonna work for a sketchy door-to-door uh, -door thing once way back and he like talked, AKA yelled me out of it and was like, do not do that. And I'm so, so, so happy that I listened to him. So sad to see that your friend got caught up in it though. Hopefully she's doing all right. Then Desert Dogs California said, I worked for Cutco. I think they changed their name to something else now. For two weeks before realizing it's a scam and quitting. They refused to pay me, but later faced a lawsuit and I got a few bucks back. Yikes, but thankfully you ended up getting a little bit of coin, probably not what you deserved, but I mean, I guess you'll kind of take anything from that situation. All right, everyone, that's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way here and be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram if you're new here. I wanna know all about the tea we're spilling on the daily all over those platforms. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.